Hello, welcome to the Year 6 Coram Shakespeare Schools Foundation production of Romeo and Juliet, one of my old time faves. Normally, we all be gathered together in a theatre to watch children perform, but as that is not possible at the moment, our amazing cast have worked really hard to create a film that can be watched and re-watched whenever you like. At Colgrave, we're a rights-respecting school and we really believe in the arts. Um, we want to thank Coram Shakespeare School Foundation for all their hard work and support this year in making the festival not only really fun, but of course very safe. We're all incredibly proud of the cast for their hard work and dedication. Over the past few weeks, they have proven themselves not only to be wonderful performers, but to be excellent teammates and friends to one another. And we are so excited to share their film with you today. So without further ado, we present our wonderful Year 6 children in Romeo and Juliet. Enjoy! <laughs> I do but keep the peace. What drawn and talk of peace? I hate the word as I hate hell, all Montagues and thee. What told you many beasts? Throw your mistempered weapons to the ground. Three single rules, bred of an airy word. By thee, old Capulet and Montague. Have thrice disturbed the quiet of our streets. If you ever disturb our streets again, your lives shall pay the forfeit of the peace. On pain of death, all men depart. Ooh, things are not looking good, pretty. Old Montague and Old Capula are clearly tired of all the fighting, but they just know how to stop it. I bite my thumb at these Capulets. Come on, Lord, let us away. Word is that old Capula is throwing a party to cheer himself up. He's asked the servant to invite everyone on his exclusive guest list. Look, we're having a party. Read the list. I pay the servant can't read, and by the looks of it, he runs a couple of Montagues, Benvolio and the son of old Montague himself, Romeo. Let's see how this plays out. I'd question. Can you read? Hmm, my first family. Whether should they come? My master is a great rich Capulet. And if you be not a house of Montagues, I pray, come and crush a cup of wine, rest you in them. Okay. Some of you may know that Juliet Capulet is going to turn 14 in two weeks, and her parents are keen to get her married. 
The young man they have in mind, Count Paris, will be at the party. Julia is a sure she'll like him. Madame, the guests will come. Supper, sir. You called my young lady as well. The nurse, cussing and punching everything in the street. I beseech you, follow straight. Strong for my only hate. Juliet! Come on, let's away now. The stranger's all gone. So there it is. Romeo and Juliet have fallen in love. The children of two sworn enemies. Could their love bring these warring families together? Romeo now has three enemies. Juliet's family, his own family, and time. <gasps> he better act quickly. Well, if we go back to the Capulet garden now, the master young Romeo has a plan. But the fiery Capulet Tybalt is approaching them and he does not look happy. By my head, here come the Capulet. By my heel, I care not. Gentlemen, good evening. A word with one of you. 
And that one word with one of us, coupled with something, make it a word and a blow. You shall finally act enough to that, sir. All eyes gaze on us. Well, here comes my man. I'll be hanged, sir, if he were your library. Romeo, the love I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Tybalt, villain am I none, therefore farewell. I see thou knowest me not. Boy, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. I love thee better than thou canst devise. Come, son, more vile submission. Tybalt! I am for you. in haste, else when he has found that hour is his last. Our sources tell us that, nurses, that the nurse has told Julia all that, that has happened and Friar Lawrence has told Romeo that he is banished from E15 but between them they've arranged for Romeo and Juliet to spend their wedding night together. Juliet's parents, though, have other plans, thinking, of course, their daughter is still on Oh, this can't be good. Sir parents, I'll make a desperate turn of my child's love. Why? Go you to her, or you go to bed. A quick hour of my son Paris is not. But soft, what day is this? Monday, my lord. A Thursday let it be, a Thursday something. Do you like this, Miss? My lord, I will start first to go tomorrow. Go you to Juliet, or you go to bed. Prepare this, prepare her wife against this wedding day. Good morning, dears. Welcome back to another day of E15 Night. Okay, so to recap, Julia is secretly married to Romeo, but her parents want her to marry Paris. This isn't going to end well, is it? Let's see what's going on back in Juliet's room. Wilt thou be gone? Your night is not daylight, I know it, I. So thou needest not be gone. I am more care to stay than walk to go. Let's talk. It's not day. It is, it is. Oh, now we go. More light and light it grows. More light and light, more dark and dark our walls. Madam, your lady, your lady mother's coming to your chamber. Farewell, farewell. One kiss and now this end. Oh, think us that we shall ever meet again? I doubt it not. Yeesh. I hope these lovebirds get to see each other again. It looks like Juliet has just been told the Paris plan. I pray you, tell my lord and father, madam, I will not marry yet. I tell thee what, get thee to church a Thursday, or never after look me in the face. Be not, reply not, and do not answer me. I think it's best to marry to Paris. He's such a lovely gentleman. Well, thou hast comforted me marvellously much. I'll defy a lot to know his remedy. If all else fail, myself have power to die. We're going to cross live now to the church where Juliet's going to speak to Friar Lawrence. Count Paris is also going to see Friar Lawrence about Thursday's wedding. Awkward. Ah, have you met my lady and my wife? That may be so, and I may be a wife. 
That maybe must be love on Thursday next. What must be, shall we? Well, that's a certain text. Come here to make confession to this father. To answer that, I must confess to you. Do not deny that you love me. I will confess to you that I love him. My lord, we must entreat the time alone. I do. Come weep with me, past hope, past cure, past help. I don't know about you, but if I was Julia, I'd be feeling pretty terrible right now, Isabella. Our spies at the church tell us that Friar Lawrence has a plan. He's given Juliet potion that she needs to drink the night before the wedding. This will make her appear to be dead just long enough for her to be placed in the family tomb. And for Friar Lawrence to act to Romeo. When Juliet wakes up, Romeo will be there to take her back to Ilford. What? He wants her to fake her own death? Well, that's absurd. But Juliet seems happy with the idea. For I have learned me to repent the sin of disobedient opposition. I beg your pardon, I beseech you. Good Sir Paris, tell him of this. I have this not make nothing of Go now, let's go with her. Go to church tomorrow. So please you, let me now be left alone. And let the nurse this night sit up with you, for I am sure you have your hands full in this so sort of business. Good night, and get thee to bed, and rest, for thou hast need. Those poor Capulets. You've got to feel for them. For Romeo will know Juliet isn't really dead from the letter Friar Lawrence has sent him. And Friar Lawrence can look after Juliet until Romeo has arrived back from Ilford. We're getting reports saying that Friar Lawrence's messenger, Friar John, has been self-isolating with a suspected case of COVID-19 and hasn't delivered the message to Romeo. But I must bear this letter to Ilford. What? And post some COVID jobs? This is bad. Romeo doesn't know about the plan, and if we cut to Ilford, we can see his cell phone Balthazar has just arrived. I don't think Balthazar knows about the plan. What if he tells Romeo Juliet's dead? Romeo! Me for me 15! How now, Balthazar? Does that not bring me letters from the fire? How doth my Juliet? Oh, pardon me for bringing these up news, but her body lays in Capo's monument and her immortal part with angel lips. Is it even so? Then I will defy you, stars! I will hence tonight! Hast thou no letters for me from the friar? No, my good lord. No matter. Get thee gone. Higher processes. I will be with thee straight. I've got a terrible feeling about this. Look, Romeo stopped off at an ap apothecary, and it looks like. Is that poison he's buying? Where I must see thee. It looks like Friar John is free. He's gone to see Friar Lawrence. The letter was not nice, but full of charm. The neglecting of it made him much danger. Friar John, go hence. Bring me an iron crown and bring it straight unto myself. Now must I to the monument alone. Within these three hours will fair Juliet away. I will write again to Ilford and keep her at myself till Romeo come. Poor living corpse, closed in a dead man's tomb. The vault in the graveyard where the Capulets are laid to rest is usually a dark and quiet place, but today many people are drawn to it. Look, here comes Count Paris. What's it to me, boy? I signal that thou hear something of hope. Give me these flowers, do as I bid. We go. Sweet flower, good flowers. Died by the bed and 
Something tough approach. Give me the wrench and knife. Home, take this letter. See that deliver it to my lord and father. Now hence, be gone. I'll be gone, sir. This is that banished, haunting monster of Romeo. That murdered my loved cousin and hid the villainous shame to his dead bodies. Obey and go with me, for thou must die. I must indeed. I have hand thee for felon. Will thou protect me? Then have a good boy. Oh no, they fight. I'll go call the watch. Be merciful. Open the tomb and name you of Juliet. I did, Juliet, and I still stay with thee. Here's to my love. Oh, true apothecary. Thy drugs are quick. Just with a kiss, I die. Be my speed. Who's there? A friend. Tell me, good friend, what torch is yours? There is my master, one that you love. Who is it? Romeo. 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 Oh, pale. Who else? And Paris, too? Steeped in blood, the lady stirs. Oh, comfortable friar, where is my lord? I remember well where I should be. And there I am. Where is my Romeo? This way, sir. I hear some noise. Come away, thy husband in thy bosom, there lies dead. Say not to question, for the watch is coming. Go, get thee hence, for I will not away. What's that? A cup? Close in my true love's hand? Poison, I see, hath been his timeless end. O oh, churl, drunk all, and left no friendly drop to help me after. Lee boy, which way? Ye noise, then I'll be brief. O oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheath. But there, Ross, and let me die. Go hence and talk more of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned and some punished. For never will a story of more worth than this of Juliet and Caronia. Standing in a crowded room and I can't see her face Put your arms around me, tell me everything's okay In my mind I'm running around a cold and empty space Just put your arms around me, tell me everything's okay It's ridiculous, utterly ridiculous that I didn't get to play Juliet. I mean, I mean, Amanda got it. Amanda. Oh, all the people in the world. What? I knew that I would have been the perfect person to play Juliet. I have no idea why Caroline would think she's better, especially since I was since I was training with the um, star actors since the age of six. I don't know why you're so happy about because I've been training since one. So I don't know what them two are talking about because like I'm way better than them. And I've been acting since I was born. Yeah. I knew I'd get this role because it's the best role. I get to boss everyone around as the prince. When Mario and Juliet was cast, I thought the cast looked so delightful. What a lovely bunch of children. But my goodness, what divas they have all become. One cast member demanded to be called Romeo in every single lesson after he was cast. Of course I'm gonna be Romeo. I'm the best. I've been with Will Smith, Jaden Smith, Jackie Chan, all those other famous players. 
from the famous actors. And this is me right now on the stage. Oh, my mum and my dad are, are, are the best, best actors in the whole world. I don't know how Yero got that role. Like, I was born at zero and I was completely famous. I, I was born ready for the, for that role and Yero got it. Well, um, the acting was all right, I guess. But it's kind of a bit strange now. The up is myself, I think. To be honest, I don't know what all the diva talk is about. It's definitely not something I've encouraged on the set. Oh, you, fetch me some snacks. Thanks. Here it comes, here it comes. Romeo and Juliet are married. Oh, they got a kiss! To be honest, I'm still trying to get over the fact that I wasn't chosen for Juliet. One Final Poison, £2.99, available now, E15 upon carry. Hello there everyone and welcome to House of Shakespeare Cash and Carry. If you have one of these, say no more, get rid of it, throw it in the trash. You want to look marvellous, you want to look fabulous, you want to look great. So, I recommend you get one of these from our shop. With this, you will need black trousers, black leggings. Personally, I recommend the black leggings. They look good, right? I recommend you popping in to see me at House of Shakespeare Catching Paris.